Good evening, welcome to EGF Fishing. I'm your host and creator, Bryson. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. What I want to share with you guys is a couple things to really up your shore jigging game. All right, let's get started. What I have here first is from Major Craft, something I recommend in previous videos, the Jig Pata. It's not too expensive. This one's 674. It's the natural Iwashi, which is sardine in Japanese. It's got holographic design, so it really works great in clear water, morning, or at the sunset. All right, this is high response. Awesome when you get the school of macros, you know, this really kills. All right. Next up, also by Major Craft Jig Pata for 624. The natural Iwashi colors with the high uh, high quality holographic design is like 50 and more. But this one's 624. All this is is a chartreuse pink with a light pink on the bottom. This works very good too. Uh, and always get the 30 grams or less. You don't need anything more in these shallower waters in our area. Next up we have for, also for Major Craft is the Mackie Jig Jet. All right, they also have these in slow. Where it says jet, it says slow. But those are for uh, slow shore jigging. We'll get into that in a minute. This is Akakin in Japanese, which is red and yellow, uh, red and gold. All right, this one is made for um, nighttime or fishing the bottom. It's always got a good response to light. And it has a gold spoon. All right, it's not glow, but it does reflect a lot of light from the moon and stars and stuff if you use it at night. And plus, if you use it during the day, you really want to fish the bottom with it if the fish aren't biting on top. All right, this one is 674. I think these are fairly new. I haven't seen them. All right, but that's what you use them for. Another one is the Mackie Jig Jet by Major Craft. It's also 674. I got it in the Iwashi color. That Iwashi color is killer, guys. Stick with it. All right, 30 grams. This one's Kemura. All right, what that means is it says right here in the kanjis on the bottom. You want to use this in the morning, afternoon, evening. It works whenever. It's got a silver spoon and it's 30 grams. Perfect for light shore jigging. Another thing. All right, let's get into shore slow. All right, this is from Palms. Palms used to use these all the time in their videos and in their movies. All right, it's the slow black cast. All right, this one's the long. And what this is is it's a what the Japanese call the Buddha which is mullet color all right it's purple all right and what this does you cast out and it fall the jig falls through the water very slow all right this one's also third this one's 20 grams all right uh, it'll still cast very well and this one has a high risk it says high response and it fishes uh, yellowtail uh, mud eye which is red sea brim all right uh, flatfish uh, halibut, flounder, fluke, whatever you want to call it, all right? Tachio, which everybody keeps calling them different names in English. I've heard dragonfish, cutlass fish, ribbon fish, all kinds of crazy names for that long, shiny silver fish that people seem to love, all right? But that's Tachio in Japanese, and that also gives a high response from this particular jig. So try that out. It's 462. All right, another one from Palms, the Slow Blatt series. This is the slim type, all right? This one right here falls very slow. It's great for shore jigging, all right? A lot of fish, they will bite on the fall of the jig. When the jig falls, it falls slow. It's a perfect time for them to go up and attack it, all right? This one was 451. It's 30 grams, 70 millimeters long, orange and white, and this is a glow, so you can use this at night, all right? And it's made for the same type of fish that I just listed on the other one, except for the long, shiny silver fish, the tachio. You guys call it what you want in English. If somebody has a correct name for it, please send that in the comments. Another thing, all right, which is perfect for shore jigging is the Sabiki rigs, guys. Get you some of these. You can get them from the tackle store or the dollar store, and they all work, all right? Use them for aji or mackerel. It doesn't matter what it is, all right? If this is too, you don't need a leader with these. If they're too long, cut off a couple hooks. That'll shorten it by quite a bit. Tie a snap on the end, the quick snap. All right, snap on the end, and then you go and you attach your jig, whichever jig you need for the moment, all right? These work perfect when you get them schools of fish in, the mackerel or the aji. It works perfect. The saba and aji, the mackerel and horse mackerel, they love these things, all right? On the rig, you'll get the smaller ones, and on the jig, you'll get the bigger ones, all right? That's how you keep them fish in, in your cooler and out of the water. All right. Another thing that is very important to shore jigging, this 
is very quick for when you need to change out lures. It's called a quick snap. This is rated for 21 pounds. You do not need to go heavier than this. When you do like sea bass fishing and use your lures, all right, this is going to mess with the action. Now, it shouldn't mess with the action of the jigs too much, especially if you're using the fast jigs where you want to reel them in fast and you don't do a lot of action. should be okay. But you don't need to go higher than this. I buy this brand all the time, and these things never break. All right? 21 pounds is good enough. Don't get the snap swivels. Ruin the action of your jigs and lures. You'll look like a drunk fish, and nobody wants a drunk fish. I'm sorry. All right? Uh, last but not least is some five... Six dollar shock leader, all right? This is very cheap stuff. It's like the cheapest they have in the store, but I stand by this, all right? This stuff works great. It's like professional grade, all right? So what it is, is it comes with, it's 20 pounds and it comes with 20 meters, all right? It comes just like this. I take it out of the box and I stick it in my tackle bag. I always try to keep a cup in my tackle bag, all right? You can go higher with the, with the shock leader if you want. I like 20 pounds. It works perfect for me, all right? It opens up like this, fold that out, and you can unroll, all right? And then what you don't use, roll it back up, and it's got little line stoppers throughout the roll. Fold it back over. Stick it back in the box if you want. I haven't stuck this in my taco bag yet, so I'm going to stick it back in the box. All right, last but not least, I have a fishing knife from Daiwa. This was 12 bucks at casting, and what it is, this little yellow sticker says here, is that this has a, a better quality material to keep it from rusting, all right? And it says it's very sharp, all right? It's very easy to use. This is a butterfly knife style handle, all right? It folds up and sheaths the knife blade so you won't cut yourself. Uh, so it turns very compact. Uh, I just bought this. I haven't opened it up yet to show you guys, but that's some necessity things, man, all right? So... I'm Bryson, and this is EGF Fishing, and I thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions or uh, concerns or criticism, leave it in the comments, and I'll be glad to respond. All right? Tight lines, EGF Fishing.